Hi, it's Dr. Elisha Van Dusen at New Hope Chiropractic. Living a healthy lifestyle is supposed to be simple, right? Too often we complicate things, adding activities into our day-to-day -day lives that aren't actually really sustainable. Sure, the first day or two is fine because you're super motivated, but I don't think any of us are strangers to that one-week motivation slump. We're trying to maintain relationships, be sociable, look after your family, clean up your house, go grocery shopping, this goes on and on and sometimes we just don't have time for exercise so I get it exercising won't always be your highest priority so here are some other healthy habits you can add into your life that won't take up too much time and will get you to a healthier place and again all without necessarily exercising all the time number one is drink more water it's got lots of health advantages that can't be seen and that's why it's very very important to increase your your uh, water intake. You'll have healthier skin, um, for example, better liver and kidney health, and it's an um, important thing to do first thing in the morning, too, because you lose a lot of hydration while you sleep. Uh, number two, stretch regularly. It helps you uh, get more limber and also keeps your fascia healthy. That's the tissue that covers your muscles, nerves, and organs, keeps everything in the right spot. And um, so use 10 to 15 minutes stretches as a way to get in touch with your thoughts, be present too, and take deep breaths in and out to reduce the stress levels. So stretch regularly. Number three, spend less time on your phone before going to bed. Spending less time on your phone in general is always a good idea, but if that seems a little tricky, start putting your phone away just before bed, and it gives your brain some time to relax and uh, put it into neutral so you can sleep better. Number four, practice gratitude. Um, even if you don't feel like it, uh, it's a very important thing to do. It puts your mind at ease and helps actually helps your health. Um, just say out loud or in your head or even, even better, write them down with all the things that you're grateful for. And uh, remind your so yourself of the things that you're grateful for. It helps you stay positive, gives you a good mindset puts you in a place of gratitude and abundance. Number five, do the things you love. Um, it sounds self-evident, but this is definitely a non-negotiable each day because your self-fulfillment depends on this. If you're not spending time each day doing something you love, you just won't feel fulfilled. And if you don't feel fulfilled, you're not able to love and support the people around you as best you can. So how do you do this? Well, write a list of every single thing you love doing, big or small, and it might be having a cup of tea, reading a book, getting a massage, or working on a hobby. Then each day spend five minutes or more doing one of those things, and then prioritize it. Uh, number six, read. Um, I encourage you to give this a go, even if it's not your cup of tea. Find some genre you love, whether it's personal development, fiction, or empowerment books, biographies, whatever. Read for 15 to 30 minutes a day, which it can actually be a good habit. Um, for education and entertainment so that'll help a lot too number seven practice mindfulness practicing mindfulness allows you to bring yourself back to the present moment and it's an excellent way to relieve stress relaxation getting in tune with your body and your thoughts and letting go of the past and also not worrying too much about the future number eight stop being so strict on yourself um, it's important to uh, to do this and not beat yourself up too much and if you um, tend to eat as well, eat junk food um, as a kind of a default mechanism here, or if that's one of your things, uh, just gradually less and less of it, and take uh, just set small goals, um, attainable, realistic goals. And when you punish yourself for eating what you or society deems as bad foods, you create an unhealthy relationship with food. So put it in, in uh, perspective there. Eat f foods that make you feel good, but if you want to eat a donut, go ahead and eat that donut as well every once in a while, just in uh, strict moderation and um, make sure you're, you're eating less and less of these types of foods. It doesn't get out of control and don't beat yourself up. And number nine, try new things. As often as you can, try something new. Allow yourself to dream and find the things that you're passionate about when you live a life filled with what you're passionate about, it makes you happier and more fulfilled person. So 
after all, life's not about how much time you spend in the gym necessarily all the time or how many calories you eat. It's about finding uh, a purpose and um, happiness and love and being of service as well to others. So these are all great ways to improve your health, uh, both mental and physical health, without exercising. And remember, too, we live our lives through our nervous system, so make sure make sure you get yourself adjusted chiropractically on a regular basis make sure your nervous system is functioning properly and your your body and health will thank you check us out at newhopechiropractic.com and have a healthy day